Lesson 12 homework. Estimate, then solve using the standard algorithm. You may draw an area model if it helps you. 24 times 2 and 31 hundredths. First, we are going to estimate. So I'm going to round 24, I'll make that 25, and 2 and 31 hundredths, I'll round it 2. So 25 times 2 equals 50. So our estimate is 50. Now, I'm going to pretend that I multiplied 2 and 31 hundredths times 100 to make it 231. So I'm just going to multiply 231 times 24. So to remember that I multiplied by 100, I'm going to write that there so at the end I can remember to divide by 100. So let's start with the 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. Carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8. Plus 1 is 9. Erase what I carried. Done with the 4, on to the 2, put my placeholder down. 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, and 2 times 2 is 4. If I add everything together, I get 5,544. But then I need to divide that by 100. So if I have 5,544, and I divide by 100, I'll move my decimal point two places to the left which is equal to 55 and 44 hundredths, which is close to our estimate of 50. B, 5 and 42 hundredths times 305. Uh, 5 and 42 hundredths, that rounds, I'll estimate that to be 5, and 305 round to 300. 5 times 300 would be 1,500. So there's our estimate. Again, I need to move the decimal point two places, so I'm multiplying by 100 to make it 542, and now we can just multiply. Starting with the 5. 5 times 2 is 10, carry the 1. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 1 is 21. 5 times 5 is 25, plus 2 is 27. Done with the 5, on to the 0. I'll put my placeholder down. 0 times 2 is 0. 0 times 4 is four, 0. 0 times 5 is 0. And on to the 3. Now we need two placeholders because we're in the hundreds place. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 4 is 12. Carry the 1. 3 times 5 is 15. Plus 1 is 16. And we add everything together. We get 165,310, but I need to divide that by 100. So when I divide by 100, I move the decimal point two places to the left, and I get 1,653 and 10 hundredths, or you could just leave it as in one tenth. They're the same. Estimate. Solve using the standard algorithm. Use a separate sheet to draw an area model if it helps you. A. 1 and 23 hundredths times 21. I'll round 1 and 23 hundredths to 1, and 21, I'll just leave it as 21, because 1 times 21 is 21. Now I'm going to have to multiply by 100 there to make it 123 times 21. Starting with the 1, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 1 is 1. On to the 2, put my 0 down, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 2 is 4, and 2 times 1 is 2. Add everything together, we get 2,583, but I need to divide that by 100, so I'm going to have 25 and 83 hundredths. Part B, 3 and 2 tenths times 41 is about 3 and 2 tenths will round to 3 and 41 will round to 40 so we should get about 120 and then here it's just 3 and 2 tenths so I just need to multiply by 10 to make it 32 times 41 starting with the 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3 put our 0 down, 4 times 2 is 8, 4 times 3 is 12 add everything together I get 1,312, but I need to divide that by 10, so I'm just going to move the decimal point one place to the left, and I get 131 and 2 tenths, which is pretty close to 120. C, 32 hundredths times 41 is about, well, around 32 hundredths to 3 tenths, 
and 41 to 40. 3 tenths times 40. Well, I'm going to multiply this by 10 so that it's just 3. 3 times 40 is 120. And then if I want to move backwards, the opposite of multiplying by 10, I'm going to divide it by 10. So our estimate's about just 12. And then for our actual answer, I'm going to multiply 32 hundredths times 100 to make it 32 times 41. which we actually did up here. So we already know 32 times 41. That was the same as this problem. It was 1,312. But this time, we multiplied by 100, so we need to divide by 100. So I'm going to move it two places back, and our answer should be 13 and 12 hundredths. All right, 54 hundredths times 62. So 54 hundredths, I'm going to round that to 5 tenths times 60. And then 5 times 60 would be 300. But 5 tenths, I need to divide by 10. Since it, I multiplied by 10 to make that 5, I need to divide by 10. So I'm just going to have 30 is our estimate. And 54 times 62. So I multiplied by 100 to get 54. Starting with the 2, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 5 is 10. 6 times 4 is 24. Carry the 2. 6 times 5 is 30 plus 2 is 32. We get 3,348, but I need to divide that by 100. So I'm going to have 33 and 48 hundredths. E, 6 and 9 hundredths times 28. So 6 and 9 hundredths, I'm going to round that to 6, and I'll round 28 to 30. So 6 times 30 is 180. And 6 and 9 hundredths, I'll multiply that by 100 to make it 609 times 28. Starting with the 8, 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 7 is 7, and 8 times 6 is 48. Erase what I carried there. Put my 0 down onto the 2. 2 times 9 is 18. Carry the 1. 2 times 0 is 0, plus 1 is 1. And 2 times 6 is 12. If I add it all together, I get 17,052. But I need to divide by 100 since I multiplied by 100. And we get 170 and 52 hundredths. 6 and 83 hundredths, I'll round that to 7, times 683, 700. 7 times 7 is 49 with two zeros, so our estimate is 4,900. I'm going to multiply by 100 to make that 683 times 683. 3 times 3 is 9, 3 times 8 is 24, carry the 2. 3 times 6 is 18, plus 2 is 20. Get rid of the 2 that I carried. Done with the 6, on to the 8. Put my 0 down. 8 times 3 is 24. Carry the 2. 8 times 8 is 64, plus 2 is 66. And 8 times 6 is 48, plus 6 is 54. Now I'm going to put two zeros down since I'm in the hundreds place. 6 times 3 is 18. Carry the 1. 6 times 8. 48 plus 1 is 49, and 6 times 6 is 36, plus 4 is 40. Adding everything together, we get 9, 8, 14, 1 plus 2 is 3, plus 4 is 7, plus 9 is 16. So we get 466,489, but I we had multiplied by 100, so we need to divide by 100. So we really get 4,664 and 89 hundredths, which is pretty close to our 4,900 estimate. 6 and 9 hundredths times 208. So I'm going to round 6 and 9 hundredths to just 6, and 208 to 200. 6 times 200 is 1,200. 
I'll multiply that by 100 to make it 609 times 208. Starting with the 8, 8 times 9 is 72. 8 times 0 is 0, plus 7 is 7. 8 times 6 is 48. On to 0, put my placeholder. 0 times 9 is 0, 0 times 0 is 0, and 0 times 6 is 0. And the 2 in the hundreds place, so two zeros. Two times nine is 18, carry the one. Two times zero is zero, plus one is one. And two times six is 12. So I get 126,672, but we multiplied by 100, so I need to divide by 100. Our decimal point's gonna go right there, 1,266 1, and 72 hundredths and h 171 and 76 hundredths times 555. i'm going to round 171 and 76 hundredths let's just make it 200 times 555 600 200 times 600 would be 2 times 6 is 12 with four zeros 120,000 is our estimate so I'm going to multiply 171 and 76 hundredths times 100 so that I can get 17,176 times 555. I'm going to start with this 5. 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 3 is 8, 38. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. 5 times 7 is 35, carry the 3. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. Put my 0 down, on to the next 5. 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 3 is 38. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. 5 times 7 is 35. Carry the 3, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. And the last one, we have two zeros. 5 times 6 is 30, carry the 3. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 3 is 38. 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. 5 times 7 is 35, carry the 3, and 5 times 1 is 5, plus 3 is 8. And we add everything together. 8 plus 8 is 16, carry the 1. 1 plus 5 is 6, plus 8 is 14, plus 8 is 22. Carry the 2. 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 5 is 15, plus 8 is 23. Carry the 2. 2 plus 8 is 10, plus 5 is 15. Carry the 1. So we have 9,532,680. But I need to divide by 10. So we're really going to have 95,326 and 8 tenths. Eric's goal is to walk two and seventy-five hundredths miles to and from the park every day for an entire year. If he meets his goal, how many miles will Eric walk? Well, he's walking two and seventy-five hundredths to and from, so he's really walking two and seventy-five hundredths miles there and two and seventy-five hundredths miles back. So let's figure out how much he's walking per day. We can either do two and seventy-five hundredths times two, or we can do two and seventy-five hundredths plus two and seventy-five hundredths. I'm just going to add. 5 plus 5 is 10, carry the 1. 14 plus 1 is 15, carry the 1. Bring the decimal point straight down. So he's walking 5 and 5 tenths miles every single day for an entire year. So there's 365 days in a year. I'm going to get rid of the 0, so it's just 5 and 5 tenths. And to multiply, we're going to have 365 times. To make this a whole number, I'm going to multiply it by 10, and then we'll have 55. Starting with the 5. 5 times 5 is 25. Carry the 2. 
5 times 6 is 20, plus 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32, and 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. Erase what I've carried here, and on to the next 5 with our 0. 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2. 5 times 6 is 30, plus 2 is 32. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 3 is 18. So we get 20,075, but remember we need to divide that by 10. So it's really 2,007 miles and 5 tenths. 2,007 and 5 tenths miles. Art galleries often price paintings by the square inch. If a painting measures 22 and 5 tenths inches by 34 inches and costs $4.15 per square inch, what is the selling price? So remember, to find area, square inches means they found the area. So area is length times width, which means I'm going to need to do 22 and 5 tenths times 34. I'm going to multiply that by 10 to make it 225 times 34. 4 times 5 is 20, carry the 2. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 2 is 10, carry the 1. 4 times 2 is 8, plus 1 is 9. Put our 0 down, on to the 3. 3 times 5 is 15, carry the 1. 3 times 2 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 3 times 2 is 6. Add it together. We get 7,650, but remember I multiplied here by 10, so I need to divide by 10. So it's really 765 square inches, and it costs $4.15 per square inch. So I'm going to multiply this by 100, so I get 415 times 765. Starting with the 5, 5 times 5 is 25, carry the 2, 5 times 1 is 5, plus 2 is 7, and 5 times 4 is 20. Put our 0 down, on to the 6, 6 times 5 is 30, carry the 3, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 3 is 9, 6 times 4 is 24. 7 times 5, well first we need our two placeholders, 7 times 5 is 35, carry the 3, 7 times 1 is 7, plus 3 is 10, and 7 times 4 is 28, plus 1 is 29. Add everything together, we get 317,475, but remember we would multiplied by 100 over here, so I need to divide by 100. And our decimal point is going to go right there. So we have 3,174 and 75 hundredths dollars. Jerry spends $1.25 each day on lunch at school. On Fridays, she buys an extra snack for 55 cents. How much money will she spend in two weeks? So she's spending $1.25 each day at school. So there's five school days. And she does it for two weeks, so five days for two weeks. That would, we need to do five times two. Oops. Five times two is equal to ten. So a dollar twenty-five each day times ten. Well, we can do that. That would just be twelve dollars and fifty cents. So she's spending twelve dollars and fifty cents. But then on Friday she buys an extra snack for fifty-five cents. So two days a week. Two days, two Fridays, she spends 55 cents. So let's do 55 cents plus 55 cents. So she's spending an extra dollar and 10 cents for those two Fridays. So let's add 12.50 plus one dollar and 10 cents. She's spending 13 dollars and 60 cents.